What is up all you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another quick basting uh, tip or trick. What I like to do is take the whole turkey out of the oven. It's You're going to have the oven door open anyway. You might as well just take the whole turkey out. And that way you're not getting blasted by all the sheets when you're trying to baste your turkey. What I've done here is I've 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 already cooked the other side, the underside of the turkey for give or take about an hour and a half, I had tw I had it at 20 minutes at 425 on roast just to kind of sear all the outside and everything else. Then what I did was I went for another 20 minutes on bake at 425 just to kind of cook and sear and close and get all that good stuff. Then what I did was I lowered the heat to 350, so 350 bake, right? Look at the difference between bake and roast. So I had it at bake for at 350 right for another give or take about 40 minutes or so something like that so basically or sorry for about 50 minutes so basically now we're at an hour and a half of cooking time on the other side and what i also did was a little tip or trick was i pulled the backbone out so it's not exactly a spatchcock right it's not exactly open and flattened and butterflied this just gives you a better presentation but by taking out the backbone back there basically what i did was I opened up that cavity from the back to allow more of the heat to penetrate deeper inside the center of the turkey. The way this all works is that I cook the underside first, hour and a half, I make sure that's done. Now I'm gonna cook this side. So this is gonna go back in 350 degrees, right, on convection bake. If you don't have a convection oven, it's totally fine. You could just use regular bake. But basically, this is gonna go back in for give or take around two more hours. So this was a... 18.9 let's just call it a 19 pound turkey i mean that's a big turkey so total cooking time should be somewhere in the ballpark of like three and a half hours because this next two hours of cooking at 350 is basically going to help to cook the breast and everything else inside see as you can see there's still some undercooked parts and obviously i want to give it that nice color i want to get the crispy skin anyways you get the idea so here's another basting trick is when you do when you do take your turkey out of the oven make sure you put it on a nice cutting board shout out to virginia kitchen boys right who makes some great cutting boards you might want to consider those i'll put links down below in the description uh, this is a smaller one, obviously small enough, you know, as long as it's big enough where the pan can go on. The reason why you don't want to put your pan directly on your countertop is you might crack the countertop, right? Depending on if it's granite or ceramic or whatever, or tile, just have a wood cutting board there to be a buffer between the heat of the pan. Because remember, we just took that out of a 350 degree oven, so that's going to be 350 degrees. So now the next basting tip or trick I'm going to tell everybody is always try to bring, you know, your, your basting liquid or juices as close as you can to your turkey right so try to get them close that way you don't get any you know unnecessary spillage but basically what's in here is just some melted butter lemon juice a little bit of salt right and just a little bit of like pepper in there as you can see those flakes but all i want to do is just use my handy dandy silicone basting brush i will put a link to this down below in the description as well but all i'm trying to do is just basically just try to get as much of this as you can try to hit some of the drier spots you know, there's no need to over baste it because it's all going to end up in the bottom of the pan anyway, which in that case, then you could use your basting tube, which I will show you. I'll put links in the description there down there below to pull some of that out and re re put it back on. But for this first part, when I just took the turkey out, I want to try to get some of that lemon in there, you know, give it a nice tanginess. Make sure to hit the feet. You could wrap these in tinfoil if you wanted to. But I like that dark and golden, you know, not golden brown, but that dark brown kind of color. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving, which today is. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. There's my neck. My neck is down in there. And the back that I pulled out, that's down in there. So basically just helping to line the pan. But basically, as long as you give yourself a good basting, you know, you're good to go. And you should be good. So theoretically, you can cook a turkey. You know, if this is, if you're just waking up and you're like, oh my God, how am I going to cook my turkey? You can cook an entire turkey, give or take in around three and a half to four hours. And like I said, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how many pounds your turkey weighs. But those are your tips and tricks for the day. So take your turkey out, cut out the backbone if you can, let it go 425 breast side down right back side up 
you're going to have like an open cavity. If you go ahead and check the video just before this one, you'll see what all that looks like. So it's not really a spatchcock turkey. It's kind of like a, like a half spatch, if that's what you want to call it. Cook the underside first, right? Flip the bird over. How do you turn your bird? Okay, that's another good question. So what I like to do is just use two really good heavy duty sized tongs. Put one down the neck and put one up the underside and basically just get, you're not going to do a full flip on the first turn. It's going to be very hard to do that. If you can, more power to you. What I like to do is just turn it to the side, right? So looking at this, I like to just give it like a quarter turn, right? Re resituate yourself, get a better grip on, you know, both sides and then give it a half and give it another quarter turn. So basically the turkey's like in half and then give it another quarter turn to get it three quarters over. And then your last quarter turn is going to get it the full way over because you want to make sure you're tucking your wings in, you know, making sure nothing sticks, making sure it gets situated correctly and all the good stuff. So that's hopefully some knowledge for you to help you out. So you still have time. It's only 951 in the morning. If you're watching this, your turkey should be ready by about two o'clock, give or take. Another last tip I'll tell everybody is once your turkey is done and cooked, right? Make sure you do some good temperature readings. You know, it's always a good idea to have a Thermo Pro digital meat thermometer. What you're, what, where you want to put this is if you're going to test the breast, try to go as deep down into the turkey as possible and go as deep into the breast as you can. What you're looking for is somewhere in the ballpark of around 165 degrees. Right. So if I look on the back, there you go. Poultry or turkey, like they said, is 165 in the breast. Your thigh meat, leg meat, drumstick, your wings, whatever, they're going to be a little bit hotter or higher. Sometimes you can hit 188, 185, 190. So the breast should be 165. The thigh meat should be somewhere around 180 or so, 180 to 190, somewhere in that ballpark. But in my opinion, it's more important to nail the breast. Like make sure that you get the breast at 165 in the deepest, thickest part of the breast. That's That way you know you've got a fully cooked turkey. Anyways, with that being said, hit the like button down there below. Hit the right big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down there below. I will put links to most of the stuff that I'm using just in general when cooking turkeys, carving, you know, prep work, all that stuff. Go back in my video playlist, Epic Holiday Dinners, and you'll see how we got to this point, sort of, <laughs> with most of it. But you can check out some videos that I made last year as well. And hopefully you'll be up to speed. And like I said, you still have time. It's only, it's not even 10 o'clock. You know, you, you could have a turkey ready by give or take, you know, 233, somewhere in that ballpark. If you, you know, play your cards right and do all the prep work. Anyways, with that being said, like button, subscribe button, check out the description section for some links. This turkey is going to go back in the oven for about two hours, 350 degrees. I'm going to baste every 45 minutes or so, and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.